hello friends so today we will talk about the boolean uh, package so this is a new package added into a 2019 so if you remember in a previous version in 11 or 12 there was no data type like boolean so whatever the string was there like uh, true and false so they take it as a string only so boolean is a uh, if uh, some uh, all the guys who has already done the programming they know well that what is boolean it's just like a flag it just to give two option whether it will be true or uh, it will be a false so let's do about what are the action we can perform on the boolean so let's create one bot and check it so we will name it uh, like uh, boolean operations okay fine so let's first create one uh, variable so if you can see that uh, we have now boolean uh, data type is available so let's say uh, v flag so here we can uh, define as a data type as boolean so it will take either true or false so you can see also default default value that is either it will be false or true so we can all initialize value here so let's keep it like that only do not define anything let's create this variable here now go to the action and we will see that what our action is available into the boolean package so you can see that we have the assign compare to equal to invert to number or to a string so we do not have much to explain here but let's try and see so assign is simple the assignment of the value because we have not initialized it so wherever you have to assign some values to a variable of boolean type so we can do so here so we can assign first the true or false we, we can initialize it because you you know that it has only two values it can be either true or false so we can define it as a constant value here so let assign to the v flag, uh, v flag here and apply and uh, let me have the message box also and here give the title Remontech okay my boolean value is so let's put dollar v flag here as a string and numbers you can directly go to this string boolean to a string here let's apply save and run this so if you remember that we have assigned the value of uh, whatever v flag variable was there so we have assigned to the true so it should show the true value here let's hear so when he will run it will download whatever the package is not available on our desktop it will download those values and run the program So my boolean value is true so we have assigned the value to it so the same way if you remember so this is the constant value we have defined it here but if you, you require this v flag to be assigned to some other variable in that case you can do from here you just define which variable you want it to be assigned to this v flag you can define it here so we do not have any other variables so let it be like this you can do it that's not so I think very clear message and understanding so let's check what other variable is here compare to compare to is that if you have two variables available in that case you can compare whether they both are true or both are false so let's do this we have already assigned it let's uh, get it this 
So the first variable is v flag and second variable we don't have right now right so we do one thing we'll create uh, another variable say v flag second and assign it uh, as a boolean only great but uh, we have not assigned any value to it let assign value to false here so we got a v flag that is true and v flag 2 that is the value of false and we will check it whether they are same or not so what will happen that if it is a, a true so if you can read it here also it will return a number only the output will be zero when both variables are true so if it is true then it will return zero and if it is false it will return as a one so in our case it will return one so right uh, let's it v result we will put it as this one and it will be a number create this and in message box we have to display the result now so what uh, okay fine so let's write it here our result dot to string apply we have not saved this so it's by showing the right icon here so whenever you will not uh, save the properties it will show you this uh, red icon let's apply save still we have not saved something that's why it's giving this error okay so that will be the constant only save and run it so as our expectation it should uh, return as uh, one because uh, both are not okay fine so you can see here my boolean is one now it means they are not matching each other so this is how you can compare whether the two values are same or not let's check other actions so we got compare here we get equal here so the difference between the compare to and equal to is not much they are both same actually the only reason is that compare to returns in numbers 0 or 1 whether the two boolean types or the variables are equal or not here because sometimes you do not require into 0 or 1 as a numbers you require as a true or false so in that case you can use the equal to so it's doing the same thing it's also checking whether it's equality and then returning you the result in the boolean form so it is same actually so do this you can check it here that uh, i have assigned as a true and uh, in uh, equal to i'm just assigned assign checking between uh, s flag and s flag 2 and uh, let's create one more v result flag we will say it and boolean type apply and let's write down here the result type so because they are not equal they should give as a false only so that is a one in the integer form not result it will be result flag dot to boolean to a string apply so let's run and check it what will be the result so as you can the value is false the reason is because one is true and another is false so either you can take it into the number and if you required a result to be in boolean so you can have this in this way also so this is how we can uh, assign and we can check the equality of the two variable here in boolean form let's remove it here 
and what is invert so invert is uh, if uh, some value is uh, reassigning it's uh, just like a reassigning and a reassigning into the opposite one for example so if you have the value of true so you can invert into the false so let's check it select the variable to be inverted so let's check it that uh, we have the value flag so flag if you remember we have assigned it as a true here and uh, the result we will want to into the result so what it will do whatever the value is in v flag is here so it will invert that value and uh, so if it is true it will uh, convert into or invert into the false and if it is false then it will be written the true here so let's apply here this one and check so we have already have this value now okay fine so if it is uh, we have initially assigned as a true so it should return as a false here now so this is the false so i just inverted so now the value of uh, boolean is false so you can assign it to mean or you can even you can assign to the v flag also you can return it here the same value to the v flag so it will convert or assign as a as a invert of the existing one so this is same so in numbers let's convert into the number so number is as i just told you that if it is uh, the true is uh, converted to 1 and false is converted to 0 so if you required a value like this so you can get it into the number format so let's get it here so you have to just remember that what it will return like true is converted to 1 and false converted to 0 so you have to remember this thing so let's try this we have assigned it to v result so let's say v result and to string to a string apply save and run this so it has written one because it was a true Good. so this is how the two number returns same with the string a string will just write down your string value there so as we have already done in message so whatever the true and false will be there it will be written as a string so this is very small and very easy to understand boolean is not much difficult to understand and not much values are there but definitely they have made it something easy so this is all here in boolean guys thank you for watching my videos and please subscribe it for the my next video that will be uh, regarding the list and dictionary variable so i hope you will like that also thank you very much